have you done to the side of this airplane? Hello Dave, uh, well we have done a decal on this uh, side of this aircraft so to show all the uh, uh, structure of the aircraft uh, up to the Rotax we have designed everything on the SolidWorks uh, computer design so uh, I wanted to, to show the aircraft to the people and uh, show how it's easy to build the aircraft and all the details so that's a, a decal uh, vinyl uh, that we have print and uh, put on the side of uh, the SAM LS. Oh, I understand that you've done a lot of work uh, at the factory now preparing to get the uh, kits uh, ready to ship. Well, uh, we are producing a batch of five kits now and uh, it's going to be ready uh, September or October to, uh, to ship to the, our customers. Now, what type of a kit is the customer going to receive? Is it something that's going, he has to do a lot of bending and welding and, and that type of thing? Well, uh, we try to make it uh, easy for our customers, so uh, all the weld is done by us. Uh, 4130 protection cage, for example, here up from the firewall up to the rear passenger seat is done by us. Uh, the bending of uh, the leading edge, it's done. There are holes on the skin, holes on the rib, so it's uh, uh, um, match holes assembly. Uh, the guy has to align everything, enlarge the holes, Deeper and rivet, so uh, it's really a, a, a first-class uh, kit. Now, are there going to be any special tools that somebody's going to need to put this airplane together? Well, the, the first tool is a good riveter because it's cool rivet and uh, a drill and uh, you know basic standard uh, tools. You can find that on our website, uh, someaircraft.com. Now, how long is it going to take some of them from receiving uh, this kit that you're delivering to actually have the airplane flying? Well, uh, we think it's going to take uh, 900 hours for someone who knows a little bit uh, aircraft construction or is an AMP or worked in a EEA project. So 900 hours for someone who already knows. Um, if, if the person doesn't know nothing about aviation, doesn't know how to read the blueprint, it's going to take 1,000 1,200 hours. Uh, am I going to be able to build this, say, in my garage, or uh, what type of uh, facility would I need in order to finish it off? Well, you can uh, build it uh, uh, the outboard wings, central wing, fuselage, tail con. So, all the big parts you can do it in a one car garage, and after that, to put everything together, you will need uh, 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 a little hangar or a uh, 30 by uh, 30 uh, uh, place. Now, when I've got the airplane finished then, are you using dual controls in the airplane? Well, yes, there are dual controls, uh, there are dual pedals, uh, dual throttles. Uh, you, dual throttles is an option, you can put uh, dual brakes also as an option, um, dual trim. You can have a lot of, of uh, options on the aircraft and uh, uh, you can fly also from the front and uh, let your passenger fly uh, the aircraft also. Um, I noticed that you've got a canopy on this. Can a canopy be removed for hotter climates or flying during the summer? Well, uh, we have done a three quick disconnect pin here. So you just need to push to pull that, you know, like that. I'm going to do it for you. So there are three of them and all the rear parts, you can take it out and fly only with this front windshield. So uh, it's very fun, you can fly close canopy or open canopy and that comes uh, standard for, uh, uh, our, uh, for the Samelis. What engines are you set up for to use in the airplane? Well, we've put uh, that uh, for the Rotax 912, so the prototype is with uh, the Rotax 912. And uh, you can put engine from uh, 80 horsepower up to 130 horsepower and uh, maximum installed weight of the engine is uh, uh, 230 pounds max. So you can put a uh, Jaburu, uh, four cylinders, six cylinders, little uh, light homing, uh, and we propose the uh, um, uh, Rotax install kit, so you know, the engine mount with the Rotax 912, uh, 914. Okay. Now, performance wise then, we say we were to take 100 horsepower Rotax, what type of performance for climb, for cruise, that type of thing? Well, there is a um, ground adjustable uh, uh, Sensen niche propeller, so we can cruise up to 125 miles, 
uh, burn five gallons an hour and economic uh, it's going to be 100 miles and you burn 4.2 gallons uh, per hour. And are you using flaps on the airplane too? Yes, there are electric flaps uh, and the electric trim. And how much fuel are you carrying on board? It's uh, 22 uh, gallons, so it's 11 and 11, right and left, uh, and it's uh, 20 gallons uh, usable. So there is only one gallon uh, unusable on the right and one on the left unusable. Now, you and I are both from Canada, but yeah. the airplane is down here in the U.S. How are you selling the airplane, or how are you able to build the airplane both in Canada and in the U.S.? Well, to be honest, uh, all the sales we had are in the U.S. So we have not uh, sold any in Canada yet as uh, Oshkosh 2014, so I hope it's going to change. But uh, uh, the aircraft uh, has been designed for the uh, Advanced Ultralight category in Canada, has been approved by Transport Canada, and we are doing the LSA category uh, here in, uh, in the U.S. So um, it, it's very appealing aircraft for the U.S. market. So how far along are you in the U.S. process for certification? Well, we have done a lot of uh, paperwork and quality manual and uh, quality processes and inspection uh, processes for the uh, Canadian uh, light sport certification. And we are doing uh, the same for the light sport uh, here in the U.S. And how uh, long, uh, how soon do you expect certification to come through? I think it's going to take between uh, 8 to 12 months, depending on the, the FAA delays, and they need to come and visit us and uh, do the inspection of our facilities in uh, uh, near Montreal, etc. So I think it's between 8 to 10 months, and I will add uh, two months for uh, unexpected delays. Okay. Now, the airplane, is it available still as an experimental or amateur build aircraft? Well, the uh, aircraft uh, is available uh, for Canada as an advanced ultralight uh, or experimental in Canada and for the US it's LSA eligible or experimental home build. So you have different gross weight because each regulation limits the gross weight. Uh, experimental you can go up to 1450 gross weight, LSA 1320 and in Canada it's going to be 1232. But it's the same aircraft for three regulations. Now, how many hours have you got flying on the original prototype now? Well, this one has more than 330 hours. I flew it uh, to uh, uh, Fort Worth, uh, Texas in October, flew it twice to Florida, uh, twice at Oshkosh. There's a second Oshkosh flying here. So more than 80 hours of uh, uh, testing by our test pilot. We completed, uh, by the way, the, the spin testing program. And uh, the aircraft is uh, very uh, resistant to spin. Uh, it's very difficult to make it uh, spin. Uh, we tried uh, forward CG 22, we tried aft CG 28 CG, and uh, uh, in fact, the aircraft goes stall, it goes inside, and after that, it screws itself. But you always have ailerons, you always have rudder authority, so you let the control and it recover, or you can move the ailerons, you recover very easily. So we've given a lot of information here, but there's always more that the customers want to have. Is there a website we go to with the information? Sure, uh, Dave, there is a www.sam-aircraft.com and it's a brand new website that we have done uh, uh, in uh, June. So with a lot of information, a lot of uh, details, a lot of photos, and uh, you can download our POH, uh, download the sample of our manual assembly.